Saturday 13th of April 2024 what am I doing well the other week I got this material and I thought that'll just be fine that well to go in the quilt now these are the quilts I normally make like this that's the backing material it's a certain width so I've got to make the patchwork to fit the back in. So I will use anything. Um, I'm not a purist. I just like to do it the traditional way where people have just used scraps. And then you'd have an individual quilt that nobody else has got and it's not cost you the earth, has it? So I've just put these on top of my uh, original quilt just to give me a rough idea on how many squares I need. And I should just fit them together. And as long as it fits the back in, I'm fine. So I've got two of the crazy cat pieces. One, you can see, is upside down. But if you look at the quilt this way, everything's the right way. But if you're in bed, the cat's looking at you. There's always a good side to everything, isn't there? Embrace your mistakes is all I can say and pretend that it was supposed to be so Coming down You remember the little sheep picture the um, cross stitch and I got two of them Well the smaller one I've put onto a patch s Sewn it onto the patch and that's going to be incorporated into the quilt you never know what you're going to get in one of my quilts, I'll tell you. That's the original quilt at the side. This is the one that I'm doing at the moment, as I say. I've done two panels that'll, that'll fit lovely. And uh, I'm just cutting pieces out. If they're this, I'm going to try and make them all this size and then it could be easier for me. And I'm going to try and incorporate the bigger sheet picture so i'm enjoying that and that's all that matters and if it keeps somebody warm fantastic these are the bits of wool that i got the other day and these are the um not uh you know the uh, pieces of wool they're not full balls of wool so i'm going to incorporate them in my four seasons blanket Starting at the bottom, it's winter, going up into the primrose colour, which is spring, coming out of winter. All the lovely green colours, that's spring. I thought if I just put some of these pretty little colours in, and to me that just depicts all the little flowers that start to come out, the tulips and uh, the... Um, Oh dear, what's it called? The irises, you know, with the uh, bluey colour. So I'm a bit tongue twisted today. I've tried to do this three times. Uh, once I'd got my hand over the mic. Uh, second time, it was a, a call of help. Um, and uh, so I've got to try and get my grandson's um, football kit white which I'll do um, because he's got mud all over it. They've washed it twice. It's still not come out. So I'll sort that out because I've got more time. So I can do that. And then uh, yesterday when I went into, I think it was the, now let me just remember, it was Home Bargains. And uh, they've got this range of items at the moment. I think it's Sarah Ashford. So with me. I think that's what it is. Um, and it's two fabric pencils for 99p. I've never used fabric pencils before. I'm uh, old school. It's always been Taylor chalk. So I'm going to see how I go on with that. So that's what I've been doing. And look at my tomatoes. They want repotting and moving on, don't they? But look what I'm doing. I've done a little bit of housework, so I've not been too naughty. 
but I'd love to have a day of just doing quilts because that's what I love. Bye.